So first up, uh, multiple Bitcoin theories arrive at the same conclusion, uh, which is essentially Bitcoin's going to rise. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much it. But uh, it's interesting to see like how much is going to rise to and how long it's going to take. And I got to tell you, I'm invested in the Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Cardano, Chainlink, uh, Tezos, um, VeChain, Theta. I, I have a, a lot of investment. As I was going through this and I was looking at the different news articles, I'm just going to tell you bias that creeps into you. I, I've held I've held Bitcoin now for over three years, and there was a couple of articles about what I thought was Polkadot, and um, I was like, I'm just going to glance over that. I'm going to go to the Bitcoin one, and it's because I own Bitcoin. So when I talk about these things, you got to understand it's because I'm biased. I mean, I try not to be on this news channel, but it just sinks in. And then I was looking through the thing. I'm like, oh, it's not about Polkadot. It was some. It was something else. Um, Pocket. Uh, something about Pocket. Some um, lending platform, but. I thought to myself, I'm like, wow, I'm becoming one of those people that is, you know, biased towards Bitcoin. And I got to tell you, you got to watch out for that because if you sit back uh, and look at these Bitcoin maximalists who have been in, you know, five, six, seven, sometimes like, you know, plus years, uh, you just look at them like, what are you talking about? Are, are, do you really think that Bitcoin is really the only one? It's because they've been so ingrained in their head and just pounded and pounded and pounded that it's just, it just looks ridiculous uh, coming from the outside in. So what I'm going to start doing is uh, trying to branch out and look at some other projects. I may, and I probably won't invest into them, or I, maybe I will, I don't know. But uh, you can't sit around and just, you know, be in your own echo chamber. It just doesn't work like that. You got to get out there and look at new things. Anyhow, let's break into this, this article here. So Bitcoin, is, there's different theories about when Bitcoin is going to going to pop off and what's going to happen, and one of those is the four-year cycle, and it's one that I actually subscribe to. It, it makes sense to me. Um, they talk about the four-year cycle theory states that Bitcoin moves in four-year cycles, with 200 weekly moving average acting as a support, and you can just kind of see it right here in this little um, graph uh, all the way back in 2010, 2011, and it's kind of you know moves in the same type of pattern: little parabolic, little drop. Then a little uh, uh, gain, a little pullback, and then a parabolic, and then drop, and then kind of like sideways action, parabolic, drop. And uh, I think we're going to see that again, but who knows. Anyhow, it says the reason why the four-year cycle theory fails is due to the lengthening Bitcoin cycles. And this is interesting. The first Bitcoin cycle lasted for 400 days, within which the bull market lasted for 250 days. Second cycle lasted for uh, over a thousand days, and the third one is on its way, and already 623 days have passed. So I don't really subscribe to that theory right there, uh, because I mean, if you just take a look at it, it's pretty plain as day. Um, you know, there is just there's some sideways action, parabolic run, drop off, little you know, sideways action, parabolic run, drop off, and we're just going, we're going in the way that we all want it to go, which is straight up. Well, not straight up, but you know, up in that in that sense. Uh, moving on, it says based on ROI cycles, the price of bottom will hit peak somewhere in late 2022, and estimates uh, the cycle to last almost 1,760 days. That leaves 703 days for Bitcoin to hit its peak, and it's the same type of thing that we just saw, but a little bit of uh, you know variance. So sure. Coincidentally, this also falls in line with the popular controversial Plan B's stock-to-flow ratio. Both models come to a similar conclusion regarding Bitcoin's top that one Bitcoin will be equal to 100,000 by 2022. So I got to tell you, when I when I read this, it's the same thing that I had talked about before. Um, and if you've ever watched my exit strategy, I talk about well, if we just look at you know how long it takes from the the, the drop off to the next parabolic bull run. Yeah, you, you're looking at certain time frame. And I said, yeah, I mean, it could probably be 2022 is when we see, you know, Bitcoin pop off. And I got to tell you, uh, for me, when I when I see other different um, scenarios play that out, I'm like, this is fantastic. Imagine we have all this time to accumulate Bitcoin and it might go below 10. I mean, who knows? I mean, it could blow, go below 10,000. Everybody says the same nonsense. This is the last time you see Bitcoin, below $10,000. Well, guess how many times that's happened? I mean, look, I saw it before 4,000. If you were here in March, you saw this, this, the exact same thing. So, But uh, imagine this. You're able to just accumulate and accumulate, accumulate for two years to an asset that's going to hit 100,000 plus. Let that sink in for a second. All you got to do is just dollar cost average. You don't have to dump in a thousand, you know, when you get a thousand dollars and dump it all in. Just dollar cost average. Every week, 
or every three days or every two weeks, whatever it is, you put in a hundred bucks, 25 bucks, 10 bucks, I don't know, whatever it is. And then it's going to go up 10 X over the next two years. Now, this is not financial advice and all that stuff, but I gotta tell you, I have no doubt it will hit that. I'm going to show you why in a second. So now you talk about a new narrative, uh, which is the ROI cycle theory still needs to be disproved where they're talking about, you know, hey, so far, Bitcoin has not only held up its narrative for being an uncorrelated asset, but also has had a higher ROI than most. Let me tell you, it is the it is the best performing asset in the last decade. It has beat every stock. It has beat gold. It has beat silver. It has beat the S&P 500. It has beat the pants off them for the last decade. There's a video that I did. You can check it out. I will link it at the very end. So when I say it's been a, a higher ROI than most. You know, that's that's true. It's just been the best of most. In fact, using Bitcoin's network momentum chart, it can be seen that Bitcoin is going through an extended momentum phase. I got to tell you, so when I'm looking at this, I think to myself, okay, well, you have this 2010 sideways little little bull run here then you have this bull market lasting from 2013 2014 then the drop off and then it starts to gain momentum then another bull market which we saw which is pretty nice and then we saw a big drop off and then everything uh, trades sideways for a bit goes up and down but it's momentum but if it's talking about bitcoin going through an extended momentum phase you know what that means everything's coiling up tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and what happens when you coil up to a uh, maximum pressure well you spring off to the roof so when we're talking about these different types of uh, scenarios that could happen the longer that we're in these momentum phases as they say or it coils up like i say i think the higher the trajectory of cryptocurrency and uh, it's not just Bitcoin I'm talking about. It's not like Bitcoin's going to go to, you know, 200,000 and then, uh, you know, Ethereum's going to be at 423 or something crazy like that. It all goes up and I'm happy with that. So hopefully that actually happens. But finishing up, it says a fascinating observation is that most of the models and predictions point towards the price of Bitcoin in six figures. And again, I have no doubt. So this is the same thing I had talked about in my uh, bull run. I just took a look at dates and I said, okay, well, if, if the first halving was on 2012. That was the very first happening or having Bitcoin ever had. And from 2012, it hit its all time high on December 2nd, 2013. And it took 369 days, almost a, almost a year to the spot. And the price of the having on 2012 was 12 bucks. Imagine 12 bucks for Bitcoin. And then in a year's time, it went up to $1,000, which would still be pretty awesome, right? So you almost hit 8,000% increase. That will be awesome. And that's those people who were back then. Those are the Bitcoin maximalists, right? That were around that time. I mean, there's still some coming around. But uh, I mean, why wouldn't you be maximalist? Like, <laughs> this is awesome. But you got to understand, there's more assets out there. And it's not just Bitcoin. We're not just talking about cryptocurrency. We're talking about digital assets and all the things that they can do. So if we take a look at the second halving, this was more interesting. So it's the second halving, it happened on July 2016. And then a year and a half later, on December 16, 2017, it hit its all time high. So the price of the halving on July 9, 2016 was $650. And then a year and a half later, it was almost $20,000. So what happened here? So you take 8,000%, it went to 3,000%. So that's about a third. So, you know, round numbers, you know, about a third. Okay. So now we take a look at the third halving. We had it in May, 2020. And if we go from just the time frames, one year, year and a half, maybe two years. Makes sense, right? So from the date of the halving, it was about 10,000. That's what I predicted. It was around $10,000. I was like, well, I think it's going to be that. And it kind of worked out like that. So what what could be the all-time high? Well, if we think about two years, 2022, uh, we could do 100,000. Why 100,000? Because if we went from 8,000 to 3,000, eh, so it's about a third. So we do a third of that, 1,000% of 10,000, $100,000. And that's just my conservative look at it, right? Uh, if you want to take a look at Tim Draper, he's like, no, 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 it's going to go the exact opposite. Op opposite. It's going to be a year, a year and a half. It's going to jump and it's going to hit in a year. So in 2021, we're not going to go down by a third. We're going to go up by a third. And it's going to be 4,500 and we're going to hit 450,000. Actually, he says around 250,000, but uh, whatever you want to do. I honestly, between me and you, uh, I don't care if it goes 100,000 or 250,000 still a lot of money and all this time that me and you have got a chance to actually accumulate sky's the limit right 
So uh, that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on.